Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. In this video I play kind of a gory game, so just letting you guys know, viewer discretion is advised. Or whatever they say in those movies. Color grading time guys. So there are two types of color things. The first one is color correction. This is basically making the blacks darker and the whites lighter. Next up that we're going to be doing is color grading. This is when you change the color of your midtones, highlights, and shadows. I'll be showing that last since you have to do color correction first. And luckily color correction is my favorite part. So. Before we even start color correction, I'm gonna have to show you guys a few things. So you're gonna need to get an adjustment layer. So if you look on your very left where all your footage and sound effects will be, you're gonna see at the bottom there's gonna be like a paper with a folded corner. If you don't see it, you're gonna have to drag that box to be a little bigger, and then you should see it. So click on that folded paper thing, and then you're gonna see an adjustment layer. Click on it, and then click OK again. Just rename the adjustment layer to something, and then color or something like that, and then drag it over your footage, Make sure it's right above your footage and not above everything because it might mess up colors for other things. So the last thing we have to do is to go to Windows, then Workspace, and finally Color. There's one more thing, okay? And that is to get your Lumetri scopes up. And th this is pretty important because I talk about it a lot. So you're gonna see kind of where all your like effects controls should be and you're gonna see Lumetri scopes there. Click on it and now you're gonna see this big old graph and it's gonna make zero sense. But to be honest, it's, I don't really understand it. But if you scroll through your footage, you can kind of see like colored version of your footage. I don't even know what to explain it, but now we're going to actually go into some correction. So on the very left, you're going to see basic correction. I usually skip the tint and stuff because it's like really mediocre correction and um, color grading. And we're just going to skip that. So you're going to see saturation. Basically, if you want to go for a happy video, um, or like more full of color video, I would turn the saturation up. Never go past 30, 130, because if you do, it's gonna get blown out and it's gonna look nasty and it's gonna just be bad. And if you wanna go for a sadder video, never go past 80, 85, because it's just too lifeless. You know, it's just not gonna look very good. Let's go on to exposure. I don't really touch exposure because um, it just brings the entire image um, color levels up or down and it's just annoying. Just don't touch it and just leave it how it is. Next up is contrast. Contrast basically adds more shades of color. So if you have lower um, contrast, the shades are, there's less shades and the higher, the more shades there are. But in Lumetri, it kind of just blows everything out the higher you put it. So if you have a very dull gray image already, turn the contrast up a little bit and just go like very slowly, like by a few, like one or two maybe. And if your footage is already super vibrant, you can leave it how it is. But if you want to make it a little bit more easy on the eyes, you can turn down the contrast just a little bit. Next up is highlights. All this really does is brighten up the image. So if you look at Lumetri scopes and turn the highlights up or down, you're going to see that the waves are moving, right? And basically make sure that the highlights, when you turn them up or down, that they're not clipping at 225, 255 I mean. So I would turn it almost until it's clipping so you get the most white range or whatever it's called and it makes your image a lot better. Shadows. This uh, just changes the value of the blacks. And if your shadows are too dark, bring them up. And if they're too bright, bring them down. A thing to keep in mind is to have gray shadows. Since it makes the blacks look better and less like really dark. And it also al will allow you to see hidden details that you weren't even able to see before. So I usually turn the shadows up a little bit. It gives more like um, color to the image. But if your shadows are already super dark, um, I would turn it up. And if they're already super bright, bring maybe bring down the shadows a little bit. And keep in mind, shadows does change the entire images colors next up is white and blacks these are kind of like off-brand shadows and highlights because they kind of do the same thing but more like aggressively because black shadows have like gray tones black and whites are just black and white just pure black and white so all you have to do is adjust the white and blacks and make sure that the whites never clip at 255 and that the blacks could clip a little bit but try not to make sh everything clipping at zero and if you look at lumetri scopes you're gonna see if they're clipping or not next up is the part that you guys probably want to see and that is color grading so you're gonna go down to color wheels and match right and you're gonna see midtones shadows and highlights midtones is the color that you want i'm going orange with this one i recommend to do the opposite of what your footage is so if your footage is cool go for warmer colors and then shadows and highlights we need to cancel out the really bright aggressive yellow right so we're gonna bring the shadow down to the opposite color which is blue and the highlights we're gonna make blue and just a little bit make sure that you're going very small because if you go too much it's just gonna be very bad 
So once you kind of have your colors, you're gonna see sliders. And this is basically picking how aggressive they are, right? So with mid-tones, I kind of go pretty high, but not touching the ceiling. I would do like just a little bit of room above the ceiling. Highlights, I just boom them out like all the way up to the ceiling. And shadows, um, shadows, I bring it down a little bit under halfway, not too much because it's going to make pure black shadows and we don't really want that. And it might mess up your correction. So just go back to the correction and change up your white and black values. And that's basically it for the basic color correction. And if you're going throughout your footage and you see like a part of your game that just like looks awful with the color grading that you did, you can just cut out, like make two cuts and then you can just adjust that adjustment layer separately and just change up the color correction to match what you want. Do not change the color grading because it's gonna change the whole vibe of your video because you want to have like a consistent color grade on your video. But anyways, here's a before and after of what we did. And if actually you want to see your before and after, go onto your Lumetri color on the very top and you're going to see this like FX. Just click on that. It's going to show you the before and after. And if you guys want to see a video about mistakes that you're making in your content, click on this one. It's going to help you out. Have a good one. Peace out. Whatever YouTubers say.